world is Carmen San Diego. Carmen San Diego. And one of these people could find her. Lori Strand. Today's episode, The Case of the False False Chief. And this is special agent in charge of training you, recruits, Greg Lee. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi. Ready to get to work? Yep. Okay, let's get started. Get the chief up here. Chief, you there? I'm here, Greg. Let's go. All right. Detectives, Carmen's gang of scurrilous scoundrels has struck again. This time, they pulled an historic heist in Washington, D.C. Located in our nation's capital, the Smithsonian Institution contains a treasure trove of American history. It even has George Washington's false teeth. But today, those dainty dentures disappeared. Petty thief Hattie Larceny walked brazenly into the museum in broad daylight and helped herself to the presidential pearly. They'll be crying in the Capitol once this dastardly deed is discovered. Now, Gumshoes, I'm going to tip you to a secret about today's caper that even Carmen doesn't know. Those choppers Patty swiped were fakes. Washington's real false teeth were nicked in 1981. And don't believe that nonsense you hear about wooden teeth. Washington's were made of ivory. Hippopotamus tusk to be exact. Now. Here's the word on Patty Larceny. She's a cute kid with a criminal code of conduct. If she weren't an international thief, she'd be the nicest young lady in the world. Here's your mission, Gumshoes. Pinch Patty. Bring back the teeth and then capture Carmen San Diego. Greg. Thanks, Chief. Okay, Gumshoes, what we're going to do is start you off with 50 acne crime bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you an extra 10 crime bucks. And the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. All right? Okay, Chief, let's get going. All right, detectives. An air search by Acme DentureNet has tracked Patty and the fake falsies. The town of Flossmoor is in a state nicknamed the Land of Lincoln. The Peoria Indians once inhabited this region where a major city now bears their name. Greg. Thanks, Chief. Okay, Gumshoes. To which Midwestern state did Patty take the teeth? Was it Nebraska, <laughs> Illinois, or Kansas? Remember the clues that we heard? Land of Lincoln, major city, named for Peoria Indians. Okay, you've heard the clues. Put the evidence together, come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. <laughs> Fuck who's ready, camera's ready, Lauren's ready. Lauren, we'll start with you. What do you say? I said Illinois. Illinois. What do you think, Cameron? Nebraska. Nebraska. How about you, Kwaku? I said Illinois. Illinois. The answer we're looking for is Illinois. Nice job, Lauren and Kwaku. Okay, so that means, Lauren, you have 60. Cameron, you have 50. Kwaku, you have 60. Very close. Uh, before we go much farther, though, let's find out a little bit more about you detectives, okay? Lauren, uh, you're fascinated by animals of the wild? Yes, and I'd like to work with them someday. Really? What would you like to do? I'd like to like, help the injured animals from the wild. Oh, that's great. That really is nice. Don't you think that's nice, audience? Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. Uh, Cameron, you go to Thailand every two years? Yes. What's the deal? Um, well, my dad works for the U.N. and he has to go on a home leave. Since we can't go to Cambodia because there's war, we go to Thailand. And I like it there because it's nice and hot. Oh, yes, yeah, so you go in, in the wintertime? Yeah, in the wintertime. Oh, that's nice. Very good. Okay. And Kwaku, you collect comic books. Oh, yeah. I recently just started collecting comics a while ago. And I just got a new comic. It was my Deathlock 1 signed by an artist. Seems to be my most prized comic right now. Wow, what do you think it'll be worth? Uh, somewhere between thirty, forty dollars in the next year. Not bad. Okay. Well, listen, it's good to have all of you on the case. Good luck to you. Have a nice time. Let's get after part Patty Larson right now. Matter of fact, for our next clue, let's go down here and check out the stool pig and see if uh, he has anything for us. Hey, Hank. Hank, how you doing, buddy? How are you? Hi. How are you? Greg, oh, yeah. when are you going to get it through your head that that thing has been dead for six years and it will not respond to your affectionate, soothing words? Listen, Hank, we're not going to listen to that, are we? We're not going to take that personally, are we? No, we're not. No, we're not. We're not. Look what I have for you. Look right here. 
It's supper time, Hanky. Huh? I'm going to put that right there for you. Do you have anything for me? Do you? You do? He does. Isn't he cute? Thank you so very much. Let's find out what he says. Okay. Listen closely, Gum. Jesus says Patty's headed for a dental convention in Plaquemine. That's a town in a southern state named for a French king. It was the birthplace of Dixieland jazz and more recently of Zydeco music. All right, so Gumshoes, name the southern state. Is it Louisiana, Alabama, or Georgia? All right, remember the clues that we heard from Hank? He is so cute. Uh, name for the French king, Dixieland jazz, and Zydeco music. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Buckles mm -hmm. ready, Cameron's ready, Lauren's ready. Lauren, we'll start with you. What do you say? Alabama. Alabama. How about you, Cameron? Louisiana. Louisiana. Kwaku? I chose Georgia. Georgia. The answer we're looking for is Louisiana. Nice job, Cameron. Okay. So, Lauren, you have 60. Cameron, you have 60. Kwaku, you have 60. Even game going, guys. So everybody's in this right now. Now, for our next clue, we've called in Acme Celeb Nets Gladiator Agents Ice and Gemini. Here they are. Okay, Gumshoes. Head for a country in South America. They speak Spanish here, but... They also speak 39 other languages. That makes 40 ways to order a cup of coffee. And coffee's their country's number one export. But I'll bet that crook is more interested in a pot of gold than a cup of joe. In that case, head for the capital city of Bogota. Where you'll find the Museo de Oro. The Gold Museum. That's what I just said. No, no, you, you, I'm saying the Gold Museum. No, but I, Museo de Oro. The Gold Museum. Museo de Oro. How would you like to hit with one of my people? Okay. <laughs> Name the South American city, Gumshoes. Is it Peru, Brazil, or Colombia? Remember the clues that we heard from Ice and Gemini? Coffee is the number one export. Bogota is the capital and the gold museum. Find an answer as quickly as you can, please. Hot on the trail here. Lauren's ready. Cameron's ready. Kwaku's ready. Lauren, we'll start with you. What do you say? Brazil. Brazil. Cameron? Colombia. Colombia. Kwaku? Colombia. Colombia. The answer we're looking for is Colombia. Nice job, guys. So that means at the end of three, Lauren, you have 60, Cameron, and Kwaku, you both have 70. Very close still. That's exactly what we got to have. Okay, that can only mean one thing, guys. It's time now for the lightning round. We're going to give you a chance now to get some extra crime bucks. So, hands on the buzzers, please. I've got three questions here. Any one of you that answers one of these questions correctly, I'll give you an extra five crime bucks. That's how easy it works. So, listen very closely. Here we go. The legend of El Dorado told the story of an imaginary land of gold, but you might not find any golden kingdoms. Colombia is the world's largest producer of these precious green gems. What are they? Lauren. Emeralds. Emeralds is right. Nice job, Lauren. Five for you. Okay. Question two. You're invited to a Colombian rumba or dance party to listen to some salsa. The band features a four-string requinto. Are you listening to a small guitar, a small piano, or a small violin? Cameron. A small violin. I'm sorry, that's not the answer you're looking for. Kwaku or Lauren? Kwaku? Small guitar. Small guitar. You got it. Okay. Question three. Listen close. The Mission was a recent movie about missionaries who brought their faith to the South American Indians. Today, 95% of Colombians follow this religious faith. Are they Roman Catholic, Protestant, or Muslim? Lauren. Protestant. Sorry, it's not Protestant. Cameron? Roman Catholic. Roman Catholic is what we're looking for. Nice job. Okay, so Lauren, you have 65, Cameron, 75, Kwaku, 75. Very close, guys. That's exactly what... Greg. Yes, Chief. Greg, in my office, right away. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. I'll check it there. Be right back. <laughs> I'm going to pay a visit to uh, the Chief. Kind of a daily thing we do. Yes, Chief, what's up? Greg, have you seen the headlines today? No. Acme crime net going nowhere fast. We are the laughing stock of the entire law enforcement community. Gumshoes. Look, you've got to get Carmen San Diego. Right. Now, if you do, I'll give you a free trip anywhere in the lower 48 states. Gee. Good move, Chief. I mean, nice job, because we can't afford any kind of problems like that. I mean, we got to stay on the straight and narrow. Can't have any kind of problems with that with the PR going, because, I mean, one thing like that happens. Go away. It's nasty. All right, Gumshoes, it's time to get serious. Let's do it, shall we? Remember, we're still looking for Patty and the false teeth. Lucky for us, though, Acme Bugnet has provided us with a recording of a phone conversation between Patty Larceny and Carmen San Diego. Listen. Carmen, these teeth are gross. 
stressing me out. Why didn't you give this job to Top Grunge? Quit your whining, Patty. You have to move fast. Head for Africa's second largest country. It's on the Mediterranean coast. But I don't know anyone in Africa. I have a close friend who'll meet you. She'll be wearing a veil. A veil? Is that what all the women wear? Only the strict Muslims. They believe it's improper to be in public unless they've covered their lower face. Now stop with the questions. You just have to go. Okay, gun shoes. To which African country is Patty headed? Is it Algeria, Libya, or Sudan? Remember the clues that we heard? Africa's second largest country, Mediterranean coast, and strict Muslim women wear veils. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. We're hot on the trail of this lady. Lauren is ready. Camera is ready. Kwaku is changing his mind and now is ready. Lauren, we'll start with you. What do you say? Algeria. Algeria. What do you think, Cameron? Sudan. Sudan. Kwaku? Sudan. Sudan. The answer we're looking for is Algeria. Lauren, nice job. Okay. So, Lauren, you have 75. Cameron, you have 75. Kwaku, you have 75. That... Yeah, come in. I think we have a serious problem on our hands. What's the matter, bud? Hey, what's up? What's up? I saw Patty and the team at a Japanese capital. Japanese capital? You mean Tokyo? What's no! That? The former capital, just north of Osaka. <laughs> We're going to need some more. <laughs> it's the home of... King Kakuji, that's the golden pavilion. Oh, mama. Oh, man. Oh, man. i got a real problem here. My watch is stuck. <laughs> All right. Gumshoe's name, the city. Is it Sapporo, Kyoto, or Nagasaki? Remember the clues that we heard? A former capital of Japan, north of Osaka. Kikakuji, the Golden Pavilion. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. We're hot on the trail. <laughs> Everybody's ready. Lauren, we'll start with you. What do you say? Sapporo. Sapporo. Kimrid? Sapporo. Sapporo. Kwaku? Oh, Kyoto. Kyoto. The answer we're looking for is Kyoto. Nice job, Kwaku. Okay. So, Lauren, you have 75. Kimrid, you have 75. Kwaku, you're in the lead right now with 85. All right, gumshoes. Now, for our next clue, we're going to... Wait a second. I think somebody's overriding our signal here. Crystal, is that you? Like, who else would be rocking your chakras but me? Crystal, the teenage medium. Red, I'm getting multiple island vibes. Like, wow, over 13,000 of them. Here comes a definite Balinese vibe. And wait, I see a puppet show, but no puppets. Only their shadows. Hmm, maybe I'm due for a tune-up. Oh, well. This is Crystal, signing off. Thanks, Crystal. Okay, Gumshoes, name the country. Is it Indonesia, Philippines, Papua New Guinea? Remember the clues that we heard from Crystal? Over 13,000 islands, Balinese, and shadow puppets. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, guys. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Lauren's ready. Fuck who's ready. Cameron, right waiting for you. Okay. Lauren, what do you say? Philippines. The Philippines. Cameron, how about you? Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea. Kwaku? The Philippines. The Phil Philippines. The answer we're looking for is Indonesia. Oh, that's great, guys. Okay. At the end of this, then, Lauren, you have 75. Cameron, you have 75. Kwaku, still in the lead. But this is now time for the final clue of this round, which means you now have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, on the next question, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks, okay? Take a look right here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Patty is headed. If you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to add, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So take a look and think about it. <laughs> Okay, everybody's ready. Nice job, Gumshoes. Now, for our last clue, we're going to take some... Greg. Greg. Yeah. Who's yeah. That? This right here, this is, this is Scott. We had a, little, had a little problem. We normally have a service that comes in and fixes I this. I see. Want to see something special? 
Yeah. Yeah. Watch this. Okay. Yo, yo, Scott. Rise. Woo! I feel great! Ladies and gentlemen, Scott, the dying informant, is alive. <laughs> that was Ray, pretty good. Ray. You're good. Thank you. Yeah. I'd like to share a poem with the gumshoes. Well, I don't know if we have time for that. We're kind of like hot on the trail of a crook right now. I think I don't know that. Okay. Pipe down and listen. <clears throat> In a country that's on the equator, you'll find Patty there sooner or later. They speak French with an African flair. Search Kinshasa, the capital there. That's it? Yes, that's it. Don't you know the end of a poem when you hear one? No, it was great. Now, find that nasty little patty. Right, gotcha. Okay, gumshoes, name the country. Is it Kenya, Central African Republic, or Zaire? Remember the clues that we heard from the voice? On the equator, French and African flair, and the capital is Kinshasa. All right, come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Lay it down right there in front of you, and we will continue from there. All right, Lauren, you have 75 Acme Crime Bucks. Before you show me your answer, how much did you risk? I only risked 10. 10? Could tie you with the lead if you're right. What'd you say? Zaire. Zaire is exactly what we're looking for. Nice job, Lauren. Thanks up to 85. Cameron, you have 75. How much did you risk? I risked 10. 10. This will tie you for the lead if you're right. What'd you say? I said Zaire. Zaire, nice job. Kwaku, you were in the lead with 85. How much did you risk? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so that means whether you're right or wrong, you stay at 85. We got a three-way tie. What do you say? Central African Republic. Okay, so you're wrong. You didn't risk anything though, so you stay at 85. Folks, we got a three-way tie going on here. Okay, so listen very closely. Here's what we're going to do. Hands on your buzzers, please. What I'm going to do to break this tie is I'm going to start naming cities. What you have to do is tell me what state those cities are in. The first one of you that answers correctly will uh, continue to the next round. Okay, <clears throat> let's try this. Here we go. Bala Kinwood, Allentown. Lauren? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is what we're looking for. Nice job, Lauren. You're going to mess around. Cameron and Kwaku, keep your hands on the buzzers. Now we have to figure out which one of you is going to be going with Lauren to the next round of Chase Patty Larceny. Here we go. Steamboat Springs, Telluride, Pueblo, Grand Junction, Aspen, Pikes Peak, Boulder, Denver, Kwaku. Colorado. Colorado's right. Nice job. Kwaku and Lauren, you're going on to the next round. Cameron, I listen, you were a great detective, man. Your luck just ran out. Thanks for being with us today. We're sending you away with it. something that's going to help you in your next case. Chief? Greg, it's the official Acme Crime Net Travel Kit. And it includes a World Traveler's Atlas, the official Carmen watch, a Carmen sweatshirt, and a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine. And our thanks for all your good work on this case. Cameron, I salute you. Thanks, Chief. Okay, guys, it's now time to go to Zaire. That's where Patty is hiding out with the false teeth. But I want you to know we don't send our agents out into the field unprepared. Chief, how about a briefing? Here's the scoop on Zaire. Located in Central Africa, capital city is Kinshasa. Official language is French, but more than 200 other languages are spoken as well. Now, the boys down at Photo Recon have put together a few slides. Lubumbashi, Zaire's second largest city, known for its copper industry and sports facilities. Look for Patty on the tournament class golf course. Kauzi Viega, National Park, home of the eastern lowland gorilla, an endangered species. A Lake Edward Hippopotamus. Now, Acme Animal Interrogation Rule Number 7. Exercise extreme caution in questioning hippos. They may look like potatoes, but they can run 45 miles an hour. Central Market in Kinshasa. Perfect place for Patty to try to pawn the curlies. You know, that reminds me of the time I stayed at my Aunt Varna's house. You know, the first night, I saw her false teeth in a glass on the kitchen sink. Aunt Varna, I said, your teeth are in the kitchen. Took them out to give them a rest, she said. Did a lot of talking today. Well, the next evening, she came in to say goodnight. I'm sure I'm tired, she said. Did a lot of thinking today. 
wild horses couldn't have dragged me into that kitchen after that. All right, gumshoes. Patty Larceny and the teeth are in Zaire. Hit the road. Hey guys, here we are in Zaire. Set your stuff down right here, please. Take your positions right over there. Let me show you what we got. Here are the locations where you might find Patty, the teeth, and a warrant for Patty's arrest. Now, the first thing you have to do is find the loot. That's what's the evidence you need so that you can get the warrant. Once you have the warrant, then you can arrest the crook. Now, once you connect all three of those things, the loot, the warrant, and the crook in that order in a single turn, then you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. And if you catch Carmen San Diego, then you get that trip. Now, one more thing I want to show you. You can pick any of the locations that you want to, but if you happen upon the loot, the warrant, or the crook, you get a free turn. Okay. Now, since both of you were tied at the end of the last round, we flipped a coin. Lauren, you won that toss, so you go first. Lake Edward. Lake Edward? Nothing there. Kwaku? Central Market. Central Market. Good shoppers. Nice job. You got the loot. You're on the right track. You get a free turn. Go ahead. Uh, Zaire River. Zaire River. Nothing there. Okay, Lauren. Downtown Shasha. Downtown Kishasha. Okay, not bad. Okay. Uh, Kwaku, your turn. Central Market. Central Market. Uh, the There's the choppers. Okay, go ahead. You get a free turn. Botanical gardens. Botanical gardens. Nothing there. Lauren, your turn. Central market. Central market. International the airport. Molders. Okay, go ahead, Lauren. International airport. International airport. The warrant. Nice job. You got the loot. You got the warrant. You got to find Patty now, and you're there. What do you say? Rainforest. Rainforest. Nothing there. We found two of them. Kwaku, your turn. Central market. Central market. My Go ahead, Kwaku. International Airport. <laughs> International Airport. No There's two. One more. Ferry Station. Ferry Station. No, not there. Go ahead, Lauren. Central Market. What a surprise. Incisors. <laughs> International Airport. <laughs> International Airport. No Botanical Gardens. Botanical Gardens. Okay, we found two. Still looking for that last one. Kwaku, your turn. Central Market. Central Market. The Dentures. International Airport. The Warrant. And the... Kaiuzi Biaga? Not bad, Kaiuzi Bega, not bad. <laughs> oh, whoa! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on over here, Kwaku. Come here, man. Congratulations, dude. Stand right here, if you will, please. We're bringing down a chain. One more thing I want you to do, pull on this chain. Put Patty in jail. Do it. <laughs> nice job, Kwaku. Congratulations, dude. We're going to talk about your next adventure in just a little bit. Lauren, listen, you're a great detective. You've tracked Patty all the way to Zaire. You luck just ran out. We're sending you away with some great stuff, though. Chief? We have a pocket translator for instant translations of 14,000 words and phrases in 10 European languages. Nice work, Lauren. Kaku, oh, I have a little paperwork for you to do now, okay? I want you to open up this portfolio. There's a pen inside. I want you to write down where you'd like to go if you catch Carmen San Diego and get that trip. Write it down, sir. Nice and big so we can see it. Hmm, very nice choice. We're going to keep this top secret, though. No one's going to see this until you actually win that. So, listen, you've had a great time, right? Yep. We, we got Patty, got the false teeth back. Everybody's happy in it. Wait a second. Can you hold on this for me, please? Let me get that for you. Hello? Yeah, he's right here. Hold on. It's for you. Hello? I know I shouldn't be telling you this, but it isn't fair that I'm in jail and Carmen's not. Look for her in Asia. Asia? Looks like you and I are going to Asia, bud. Chief? Kwaku? Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Turkey, Israel, Iraq, Afghanistan, USSR, China, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Cambodia, Singapore, Hong Kong, Indonesia. I feel good. Greg, take what to the map. All right, Kwaku, this is it right here. Now you have to track Carmen San Diego through seven different countries, identifying each country with a marker. If you're right, you'll hear this sound. And if you're wrong, you'll hear this sound. Now, if you're wrong two times, leave the marker where it is, go on to the next one. But if you're right seven times in 45 seconds, you will then win that trip to wherever you wrote down that portfolio. Sound good to you? Yeah. Sound good to you guys? 
Okay. Now, this map is a little bit bigger than usual, so I want to show you how this works, okay? Right over here there, we have the Mideast. Here's Central Asia. That's Southeast Asia. And over to your left is the Pacific Ocean. You ready to do this? Yep. Let's get up here. Give it, cheer them on, folks. Here we go. Okay, let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. Kwaku, good luck to you. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Carmen went to Singapore. That's it. Come on, come on, come on. Carmen went to Iraq. Nope, try it again. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Carmen went to the USSR. You got it, come on. Carmen went to Bhutan. Come on, come on, that's it. Carmen went to Turkey, Turkey. Yeah. Carmen went to Indonesia, Indonesia. Come on, come on. Carmen went to China, China. Carmen San Diego. Nice job. How do you feel? All right. You guys feel okay? <laughs> All right, look. Let's find out where you wanted to go. You and a pair are going to be going to California. Oh. Look, Kwaku, know you've been working pretty hard for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Do it. Do it, Rockefeller.